Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about blend modes or layer blend modes. Now here I'm using Photoshop to show you guys, but it actually works similar in any software. So you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, even if you're using um, Sketchbook, Procreate or any other software, it works the same. So let's just begin without any further ado. So here what I've done is I have this layer and I've added clipping mask to it and I have added these colors uh, so that we can clearly see how these colors react to the base color or the base layer once the blending mode is applied to it. So that's what actually blending modes mean. Blending modes actually, you know, defines how two layer react or interact to each other. So here we have all of these blend modes. Now, as you guys can see, we have different groups. So now I'm not going to be going into each and every one of them, but I'll be showing you guys how each and every group actually works so that you can play around with these blend modes and see what works the best for you. So obviously the first one is dissolve. Now dissolve is nothing crazy. It actually kind of scatters the color and kind of adds this noise as you guys must have noticed. Let me just zoom in a little bit and add dissolve. As you guys can see, the colors seems as if it is scattered or there is some sort of noise in the color and it actually doesn't do anything to the color. It doesn't add any saturation, doesn't darken it up, doesn't lighten it up, doesn't do anything. It just kind of scatters it around. So the first one is this group right here. So first I'm just going to go ahead with the multiply and show you what it does. It actually darkens up um, the color as you guys must have noticed right here. So if I go to normal once again, like this, the color is pretty and normal looking, pretty light, but when I add multiply to it, it actually darkens it up. So that's what it actually does. That's what this group right here actually does. It actually darkens up the colors. Even if the colors are lighter, they will still darken them up. This multiply or this blend mode is pretty good for shadows. In this group, there is one blend mode which is darken and darker color. Both of these are similar to each other in the exact same way. Now I'm just going to explain you what they actually do. So what happens is when you apply one of these blend mode darken or darker color, it actually compares the base colors and the blend colors together and it keeps the darker one of them too. So as you guys must have noticed, both of the color I have right here are quite similar to each other. That is why it did nothing to my layer. As you guys can see, nothing happened because it actually could not find the darker one from the two. I hope that makes sense. Then we have color burn and color burn is quite saturated as compared to multiply and then we have linear burn linear burn is more darker and less saturated than color burn so th these functions a lot similar quite similar to each other but then again here are these two blend modes which are quite different from all of these blend modes right here so if you are gonna add some shadows to your painting or artwork consider working with these blend modes. So now let's go ahead and hit the next group. Now in the next group, again, as we saw in the previous group, darken and darker color were similar to each other. It actually compared both of the layers and selected the darker one of the two. Here also we have two similar kind of layers or blend mode. First one is the lighten and the next one is lighter color as you guys can see they both are similar to each other now here what it is doing is it is actually comparing the base layer and the blend layer and selecting the lighter color of them too it's completely opposite of what we just saw in the previous group in this group everything lightens up as you guys must have seen in the previous group everything darkens in this group, everything lightens. 
so you have to keep that in mind whenever you are working with your artworks so as you guys can see we have screen then we have color dodge then we have linear dodge and as you guys must have noticed it actually kind of goes from soft look then strong then even stronger and so yeah you can use this group to create highlights onto your portraits or onto your artworks you can use color dodge or add or linear dodge to create glow kind of effect to your paintings and i really love using linear dodge when i'm adding glow to any of my artworks doesn't matter if i'm doing it on photoshop or procreate or sketchbook it doesn't really matter i always use um, linear dodge for adding glow effect you can also use color dodge but i prefer using linear dodge so what is basically happening in this group is um, the colors are becoming lighter than they actually are and in the previous group the colors were becoming darker than they actually are now there is a little bit of difference in the saturation of the colors obviously so you can just go ahead and see what looks the best on your painting now let us come on to the next group which is this group now in this group what happens is the dark colors become darker and the light colors become lighter now as you guys can see if i move from overlay to soft light the shift of the color the shift of the color the um, blend of the color from light to lighter from dark to darker is quite gentle as compared to overlay this group is a combination of multiply darkening things up and screen or color dodge lightening things up this group is a combination of both of these so all of the blend modes in this group actually roams around this concept only of making things lighter or darker now here is this one um blend mode with uh, which i want to talk about which is vivid light now vivid light is an extreme version of overlay and soft light now what they both did it actually made everything lighter colored lighter in dark colored darker it is actually an extreme version of that and anything which is darker becomes darkened and anything lighter becomes lightened but the results are pretty extreme and pretty intense and then the next one comes which is linear light now in linear light what happens is it combines dodge effect and burn effect dodge means lightening up things or lightening up areas which you want to and burn means to darkening up pixels so yeah it is doing the exact same thing it is performing the exact same function but the results are much stronger as compared to overlay or soft light so if i go back to overlay as you guys can see the results are much softer and soft light also does the same but when we move to hard light or vivid light or linear light the results are pretty pretty strong and then comes pin light now pin light does the same it actually performs darken and lighten simultaneously but it actually creates a patchy effect of it it does the same function but it actually creates a patchy effect really patchy effect as you guys can see right here so you can always go ahead and play around with the opacity of the layer if you're liking the effect but you're you think that the results are super duper strong then always go ahead and play around with the opacity of the layer and the next one is hard mix now what hard mix does is it actually flattens the details of your artwork it makes it flat and it makes it super duper saturated so it and it only uses white and black and any of the six primary colors so it is a pretty strong effect as you guys must have noticed everything became saturated not everything but certain parts of the artwork became super duper saturated and it actually flattens down the details of the artworks so all of the blend modes in this group are working around the same function making light colors lighter and making dark colors darker so that's that then comes a different group which is 
different now let's just suppose we added difference now what it does is it actually uses the difference of the base and the blend colors to create the resulting blend now if I explain this to you in simple words what it is actually doing is it is actually inversing the colors now what do I mean by that everything that was lighter became darker and everything that was darker became lighter as you guys can see the eyelashes are white the eyebrows are white and the whole skin is black so everything which was lighter became darker and everything which was darker became lighter now the similarly we have um, exclusion but it does the same thing as difference but it doesn't darken the grays as you must have noticed in difference it actually darkened up everything and uh, it didn't matter if it was gray or not but in an exclusion it doesn't darken the grays it only darkens or whitens the black and the white so that's the difference between difference and exclusion then comes subtract now subtract darkens colors in a drastic manner by subtracting brightness as you guys can see there is no brightness left onto the area where i added uh, the colors and added the blend mode and light areas darken the most so as you guys must have noticed everything light became super duper black and whatever is already dark produce little change there are no changes if it is already dark there will be really little change but everything lighter becomes dark and then comes divide now divide does the opposite of subtract now what subtracted it actually darkened up the whole light part of the artwork now what divine does it actually creates a brighter result so the darker colors create brighter results while already light areas produce little change now the last group is this one right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with hue now you can use hue to change the hues in the layer in the layer right here I'm talking about this layer while maintaining the tones and saturation of the base layer or of the original layer and when we move ahead and use saturation now the saturation blend more preserves the luminosity and hue of the base layer now what does luminosity mean luminosity is how darker or lighter a color is so it actually preserves the luminosity and hue of the base layer while adopting the lowest saturation value of each now what does that mean lowest saturation value of each it maintains the luminosity and hue of the base layer but it act also adopts the lower saturation value for both of the layers and kind of merges them together to create this final result now the next one is pretty similar also which is color now color preserves the luminosity of the base layer while adopting the hue and saturation of the blend layer now this blend mode is ideal for coloring monochromatic images and yeah also if you have something with you which is in grayscale and you want to color it fully color it then use this blend mode to fully color your grayscale artwork and the last one is luminosity luminosity preserves the hue and saturation of the base layer while adopting the luminosity of the blend layer so it is kind of opposite of color in simple words this group is actually playing around with the luminosity hue and saturation of the layers now we know that we have these different groups the first group actually darkens things up and it is actually good for adding shadows to your artworks the next group actually lightens things up and is actually good for adding highlights and for adding glow to your paintings and the next group actually functions around darkening up the dark colors and lightening up the lighter colors. now the next group i don't know what it is good for because i have never used these blend modes but you can still you know creatively use them or play around with them just to see 
um, what looks the best and then again we have the next group which actually functions around saturation and hue of the layer or the luminosity of the layer and then again i've never used this group i've never used these blend modes but you can still play around with these and see what looks the best so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday so yeah other than that i will see you guys the next time